It is, I think, often about the collateral damage. That's the bit that they never tell you about. Yesterday's two-minute hate was ostensibly directed at Tony Blair, but the collateral damage was, of course, Her Majesty the Queen, because people attacking his elevation to the Order of the Garter, or whatever it's called, ended up unwittingly attacking the Queen's freedom to appoint whoever she wants to the highest offices in the land that she ostensibly rules. Today's collateral damage is trial by jury. The same blowhards and tabloid know-nothings are queuing up to attack the verdict of the so-called Colston Four uh, in court, a court they never went anywhere near and testimony they followed not a single syllable of. But of course, by attacking the result, by attacking the protesters who led the uh, assault upon that uh, insidious metalwork, they end up unwittingly attacking trial by jury. So next time someone invites you to join a two-minute hate, just have a little think about what the collateral damage might involve. Because I'm sure if today you've been tempted to conclude that this is a travesty of justice and we must all go and desecrate Karl Marx's grave as a, as a form of redress, you don't really have a problem with trial by jury. Some of you may even have voted to leave the European Union because you wanted to control our laws. And now the people who encourage you to leave the European Union are encouraging you to attack our judicial system. Uh, I think it goes right back to Magna Carta, doesn't it, trial by jury? So think about the collateral damage, because you always have a choice. We always have a choice. Either respond atavistically, emotionally and viscerally to events without really taking any time to understand them, just get angry or or get get cross uh, or get frightened, or pause, learn, comprehend and respond.